Hi friends, Petonias is one of the best and my favorite flowers to grow both indoors and outdoors. This is the only flower plant that I grow indoors all the time in at least one of my hydroponic systems. Watching them flourish before my eyes is pure joy, but it doesn't end there. Even more fun and exciting thing with petunias is the cloning and propagation. Transforming a single plant into multiple plants, in fact multiple gardens, is the magic. So let me show you how I multiply the plants using petunia cuttings. Let me start with how I collect the cuttings from this plant. Literally any cutting works, but for a successful establishment, pick a branch that has some side branches, preferably without the flowers, but not necessary. Every branch has multiple nodes and there will be side branches pretty much at every node. So cut it below one or two nodes. Once the cutting is settled, the side branches will continue to grow and the cutting will eventually become a nice bush. Here is another example. This is a very long branch that started all the way from the base of the plant. It has multiple nodes and multiple side branches. Some of the side branches are pretty big. They are big enough to become another plant. So I can cut the branch here and just use the top portion as a cutting and make it another plant or I can cut it all the way to the base and make whole thing as a cutting and make another plant from this whole cutting or I can actually make multiple cuttings from this branch. I can just cut it here and then make another cutting here so that I can make two plants and I can even take out this side branch. This side branch is big enough to become another plant. So I can just cut the side branch and make the side branch also another plant. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make three cuttings from this branch. Now I'm going to cut the side branch. All right, this is going to be one cutting and I'm going to make one more cutting from this branch. So I'm going to cut it here. This way I can make two plants. Basically I made three cuttings from one branch. All these are going to work very well. Alright, I got a bunch of cuttings from my existing plants. Now it's time to place these cuttings in some hydroponic system and let them root. Once they got the roots, I can transfer them wherever I want to. I really love to use these systems, Mars Hydro which has 12 holes. So I'm going to use this system to place all these cuttings. Rock wool is the best medium for all the cuttings. This is very economical. These are one and a half inch cubes. I can make four mediums out of each cube. All right, I have uh, 12 sponges ready. Now I am going to make a hole in the center. Then I will insert the petunia cuttings. Oops, I broke it. Then place it into the basket. then drop it into the hydroponic system. All right, I have 12 cuttings. Let's see how many of these will survive and become plants. Here it is. It is already looking beautiful, isn't it? It's been 11 days. Look at this garden. It is already looking so beautiful with so many flowers. Every cutting has some flowers and some cuttings have multiple flowers and they're already getting bushy. Let's see if they have developed root system. 
Wow, that's nice. I'm seeing root system on pretty much all the cuttings. Some of them just started and some of them have multiple roots. So they are being established very well. This is really a good start. Once they start developing roots, they will go really fast. They expand their root system and they also get bushy really quick. I'm already seeing lots of new development. This is really nice. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.